hip-hop is very big force. Members not in Nigeria. Zenithod wants federal government over Unam Dikano. Welcome to those news. And please endeavor to listen to the end. And don't forget to also share those news with your friends. The senator representing Anambra South, Ifai Uba, has sent a warning to the federal government concerning the indigenous people of Biafra. Uba on Monday warned that hype up is a very big force because the majority of the group's membership is not in Nigeria. According to him, Unamdikanu enjoys a huge following, a huge followers in the southeast, and should be taken seriously. Uba, who is seeking a court order to visit Kanu in the DSS custody, explained that he wants to engage the IPOB leader to get him to talk to his people about the proscribed group stand on the November 6 governorship election in Anambra State. We had reported that the separatist group threatened to lock down the Southeast if Kanu is not released from detention by November 4. The proposed sit-at-home protest would affect the Anambra governorship election which is built for November 6. Why noting that boycotting the forthcoming election does not really help our people? Uba said, You must understand that Unam Dikanu has a lot of followership in the Southeast. So, the government should take him seriously. But we are engaging and finding political solutions to these issues. We are engaging with IPOB and showing them the importance of this election. The most important thing is that the election is constitutional and I'm very sure that on the day of the election there would be a peaceful election in Anambra State. The YPP governorship candidate had filed a motion on October 15 through his counsel, Agu Goize Ikim, who sought an order of this honorable court granting leave to Senator Ifai Uba to visit the defendant, Masi Unamdikano, as part of his legislative, legislative oversight function. Uba said, I am the only politician that's working hard to see the reader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Unam Dikanu, so that I can also have the opportunity of talking to him and get him to talk to his people to look into this issue. Because the election is constitutional. And if really anybody loves our people, they shouldn't be saying there will be no election. It doesn't really help our people. If there is no election, there will be voters apathy. And somebody might come in and then do something that might not all go well. Hype up is a very big force because most of them are not even in Nigeria and they have their way with the media and the people are listening to them. So that's why I have dedicated myself to how we can bring in and prefer a political solution. Zenitor Uba, who is the YPP candidate? came up and said hype up is a very big force and most of the hype up people the hype up members are not in nigeria they know how to go about those things through the media and a lot of people 
are listening to them. Hypop has a lot of followers, both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. The youths are following Hypop. They are the ones that dominate Hypop. So, the YPP governorship candidate came up and filed a motion that the Honorable Court should grant him leave to visit the defendant, Mazi Unam Dikano, as part of his legislative oversight function. Remember that the Anambra gubernatorial election is coming up November 6. But the IPOP members said that the election will not hold. They enforced a sit-at-home order that is going to last for one week. And the reason behind this sit-at-home is that their leader, Mazi Unabdikano, has to be released on or before November 4. Unless he is released, then the one week set at home order will not take place. But if it's not released, then they are going to go up, up uh, go on with it. And the YPP candidate is not saying that it is only Mazi Unam Dikanu that can talk to these people to allow the Anambra gubernatorial election to take place and take place peacefully. So that is one of the reasons why he wants to see the defendant, Mazi Unam Dikano. And this is also part of his legislative oversight function. We're very sh- sure that on the day of the election, there will be a peaceful election in Anambra State. Upa, who is a politician that is working hard to see the reader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Namdikanu, so he can also have the opportunity of talking to him and get him to talk to his people to look into the issue. This election is constitutional, and if anybody loves our people, they should not be saying there will not be election. Election has to take place so that another new government can come in. This does not really help our people if there is no election. There will be voters' apathy, and anybody that come in, anything can happen as well. IPOP is a very big force because most of them are not in Nigeria. Most of them are not in Nigeria and they have their way with the media and the people are listening to them and doing whatever they are asked to do we have come to the end of those news please remember to drop your comments below and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell for more notification do enjoy the rest of your day